Rejoice. Merriam-Webster's Dictionary defines rejoice as to feel joy or great delight. So I wonder, how do you express joy and great delight? That is, how do you show that you are rejoicing? Are you more low-key? A simple smile, quiet golf clap. Or are you more of the hooping and hollering, squealing and delight, jumping up and down kind of rejoicer? There are so many good options along the spectrum of actions and sounds with which to express joy. I have found myself over the last 18 months or so making more use of silent rejoicing. On a Zoom call, when a colleague or a parishioner shares something with which I rejoice in, I have found myself utilizing the American Sign Language clapping sign more and more so that I don't have to find the unmute button and worry about speaking over anybody else as I rejoice, but all the Brady Bunch boxes can rejoice together. I've also loved seeing Zoom add more reaction options. The horn with confetti is one of my favorite to use as a way of rejoicing with others, expressing joy and great delight. In this time of pandemic, we've also had an obstacle of masks to overcome. When you have a mask on, it's a little harder as you pass someone by to share joy, express delight with a smile when they can't see it. So I've heard people articulate that they've been working on their smiles that is smiling with their eyes as a way of rejoicing even when they have a mask on. But Merriam-Webster also has a secondary definition for rejoice when it's a transitive verb, one that requires a direct object. It's defined as to give joy to. So that rejoicing is not just expressing the emotion you have inside, but passing that along to others. It's interesting to consider how much of my rejoicing would others actually rejoice in, gain joy from. One of the most iconic images that came to mind when thinking about rejoicing was Brandy Chastain after winning the 1999 World Cup soccer game. She falls to her knees and raises her fists in great delight, in joy, as she rejoices at her victory. But in all the different angles of that image of rejoicing that's captured, what's not shown is the other team. Are others rejoicing with her? Of course, some yes. And when we rejoice, hopefully others rejoice with us or gain joy from our rejoicing. But I invite you to think as you rejoice, are there others that are feeling the opposite? There's also the question of who gets the credit in our rejoicing. When we rejoice, are we lauding ourselves for a job well done? Or in our rejoicing, are we giving credit to the source of everything? of our time, our talents, our treasures, and our joy. That is God, our creator. 
some sports stars in their end zone celebrations do give credit to God with a little point or by crossing themselves. Even celebrities during award show acceptance speeches will give glory to God as part of their rejoicing. This is a model for us that in our rejoicing, we might remember the source of all good things, our one true God. Throughout our lives, though, there probably are times where our rejoicing is does not bring joy to others. Or we are self-centered in our rejoicing and forget that God is at the center of it. There are times where we fall short, where we mess up. But we can rejoice because God still loves us even in those times. Also, even in the bleakest of circumstances, God is with us. And so there is a reason to rejoice. As the Advent hymn, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, encourages us, rejoice, rejoice. Emmanuel shall come to you. O beloved child of God. Amen.